Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Sims 4 house build. Uh, my name is Stephanie Rudd, and here today I am bringing you a weird Tudor home style thingy. I I, I wanted to do more Tudor home-ish things because I really like the style. Although this is the full build and decoration, um, and I found it a little bit. It was I I've actually like built it and demolished it and built it again and built it again. Um, so you're seeing the pristine run where I didn't mess it up, which is great. Uh, yeah, but it's just uh, I hadn't worked on the roof yet, so I didn't know how I was gonna do the roof. But it all comes together in the end. Yeah, no, sometimes that how it that's how it be. <laughs> yeah, so I was just trying to struggle it again. This roof. It is a two bedroom, um, two and a half bathroom uh, house. There is a small water closet on the first floor and a double bed. Um, sorry, double full bathroom on the second floor one is sort of the main family bathroom and the other one is like an ensuite to the master bedroom um yes so at first i really wanted this like sort of tower in the middle and it was really hard to get it to work with all the stuff that was going on with this build like trying to fit the stairs in because there were so many like diagonals in that room but i wanted the stairs to be in there and then making room for the bathroom and then making room for the bedrooms. And it was just like a very awkward thing. So even though it is two bedroom, there's totally enough room. And like you can add a third floor. It would be fine. I made the second floor taller than the first floor because I wanted to put this nice sort of big window at the front, which I'm, I think I'm about to plop in very shortly. Yeah, I wanted that window to go there and I knew that I needed a taller uh, floor so that that's already bigger I didn't want the eaves of the roof hanging down in front of it so in order to still have the eaves and make it look good I had to make the walls taller uh, even though it is a you know I don't know what you would call that floor like that level of floor like the the singular first level floor sort of thingy made jiggy thing of a jiggy bob and I felt like the back was a little bit plain so I was going to try to use those you know jutting out windows that came with the Windenberg pack which was a get together yeah yeah it was get together sitting living is one where you got the city in so Windenberg came with get together I don't know I got them both at the, around the same time so <laughs> they kind of meld in my mind together even though they are completely different uh when it regards to content in them in those packs uh, but yeah I wanted those jutting out windows so I, I couldn't get them to kind of fit and look good so instead I made my own jutting out window and I use like the little um, wall decorations to look like they're kind of being held up by these little supports and I think it works out nice and with classic Tudor style homes I use the toodle, toodle, Tudor wall painting stuffs you know very cute and then I was like, you know what? That needs a little bit more decorational colors. I need to, to change that patterns up a bit. And then I added like all these cross sections around it. So it really looked like, you know, they were putting these beams in these specific places in order to hold up those walls and so and so and such and such. But yeah, I like that the bottom floor is like half brick, half like, I don't know what that's called. Um, I can't remember what, what it's called. It's like some mud sort of drywall thing that they used to use a lot of. Uh, I, I don't remember what it's called. But we're just going to call it drywall. So like half stone, half drywall. And then like the middle like giant spiral uh, thing is all stone. And I carry that on through the inside of the house. And any of the walls that have been like, you know, added like the bathroom walls and things like that. They get painted with a regular just white paint. So it really looks like this was just a shell of a home that someone built walls in. And, you know, you can go in and paint the walls different colors if you like. Uh, there's no problem with that. Man, make this home your own. Uh, that's why I build them. Like, I have my vision and then someone else will have their vision and they'll improve it. And they'll make the home look so much better than I could ever dream. And at first I really wanted it to be like stairs on both sides, but it was, it was internally murdering my soul. The fact that one was three and one was two. So I'm like, you know what? I gotta, I gotta change this. So there's only going to be one stairwell. 
but that's okay. We only need one stairwell. You don't need two stairwells. Like, why are you getting all fancy with two stairwells? That's just too, too fancy for my blood. So yeah, that there's two little rooms in the, um, I guess it would be the, uh, the tower. The tower. Uh, those are both bathrooms. And I basically, I was going to have that one side room be just the kitchen, but I'm like, this is a fancy home and fancy homes have separate kitchen and dining rooms. So we gonna build this another kitchen because it is a fancy. So I build the fancy home. I I mean I I undid everything because I I messed it up a little. So I was just like you know what I'm not gonna make it too big. Just just a three by what is that five three by five. Just it's literally just kitchen stuff. It's no table nothing like that in there. It's wall to wall cupboards and cabinets and stoves and fridges. Well literally only one stove and one fridge. And I use the old dark wood. So this this place is pretty dark with its color scheme. Um, and I do go in and add a lot of like wall lights and, you know, floor lights and stuff. So this is where I'm going around painting all the the built walls in quotation marks uh, white. So it, it looks weird, especially in the dining room. I find it's the weirdest there. Um, but I kind of make it flow better with decor stuff. And now I'm just going to do the landscaping because I thought this build was going to take me forever and a half. So I was doing the landscaping first to be in the build portion of this video. And then I was going to do the, the decoration build uh, video, a, a separate video, I mean. Um, but I ended up, you know, just going in and, and just chucking in a bunch of furniture and being like, okay, that's good enough. And it made the the decoration one even though like I didn't skimp on detail it looks nice <laughs> uh but I just I didn't spend too much time so it's not ridiculous creative but it does look nice and the color schemes are kind of bland but it's still it looks good and that's what I was going for I just wanted it to look good I didn't want it to be you know amazing but I did want it to look good <laughs> If I wanted amazing, I would have, you know, spent three, four hours decorating it. But I'm tired. I'm really tired today. I was streaming all day. If you want to catch my streams, I don't usually play The Sims because I usually stream when I'm with friends. And it's not like The Sims is multiplayer, but I do have my stream link down below in the description. And I was streaming some Overwatch. We played some Light Bearers. Uh, what else did we play? We played... No, we didn't play Human Fall Flat. We talked about playing Human Fall Flat, and then we never played Human Fall Flat. Yeah. Um, what else did we play? Oh, Ultimate Chicken Horse. So yeah, we, I was playing some Overwatch by myself for a bit, and then my friends all came on like 10 minutes later when I started streaming. Um, and then we played Ultimate Chicken Horse, and then we played some other stuff. So yeah, if you want to watch me play other games, potentially stream The Sims when I'm alone and, you know wanting to stream but I'm not sure I can stream and record at the same time I don't think my computer is that good my computer is pretty good but I don't think it's that good so I might you know I might do little bonus builds on stream and then like maybe just download the videos afterwards because I know Twitch has like really improved its interface I remember like when I was streaming three years ago it was so difficult to download videos from it. Like you had to go to a third party site and it was kind of like downloading, you know, music off YouTube. It was really weird. Um, but that's before, you know, technology started catering super heavy to people of the internet, which I love. I sound so old when I talk about technology. I'm only 28, but like I feel like I'm 90 years old because technology is just constantly advancing so much and I think it's probably the same you know thing with my mom and you know that generation too because like in the 80s technology just whoosh into the sky and it changed so much in such a short span of time that it's it's kind of like amazing to think that like you know 30 years ago you know stuff wasn't around as it is today and that 30 years doesn't seem like a very long time and, like, my mom was born in, in 66, and, and by the time she was, you know, a full-grown adult, like, the internet was a thing, and computers were around, and that wasn't around when she was a kid. So, it's it's kind of weird. And, like, when I grew up, it was, I, I had, you know, a cell phone when I was in my teenage years, and I had my first computer when I was, like, 
eleven, twelve, but it was like the family computer that everyone had in the living room. But I was kind of behind the curve because I knew some of my friends had their own computers in their room and stuff like that. Uh, but you know, I didn't grow up too wealthy, so we had the computer in the living room, um, and we had dial-up internet. That was a thing, right? Crazy to think, but that was a thing. Dial-up internet. Um, we used to get those free CD trials and in like cereal boxes for like AOL. Uh, yeah, you just see me throw together the dining room. Do not panic. It is not finished. I was like, just, just put stuff in the rooms, go back and decorate it later. Push stuff in the rooms. Cause that's, that's how I find I can push myself to make these really quickly. If I sit and finicky and sitting there and looking through all the decorations, I'm just like, oh, what about this? What about this? What about this? And I like take forever to get to the next room. So it only took me like an hour to furnish this place when usually it takes me two, <laughs> two, three, sometimes like that. Although I do use the same sort of theme throughout all the bathrooms with the vampire stuff because I just felt like it works so nicely. And this is the half bathroom and then upstairs we'll have two full bathrooms with baths and showers in them. I mean, you could fit a shower in there, but I was just like, that's kind of overkill. Three bathrooms for two bedrooms, that's, that's a little overkill. But yeah, so dial-up internet was a thing, and it's just, it blows my mind to think about how far technology has come, and even just in a three-year span, like, websites that I used to use are completely different now, and even, like, if you look back at, like, 2014 release date Sims, um... James Turner does an amazing video where he shows all the stuff that is different. And you're just like, I can't believe I played this when it was that, when it was that, like, I guess, new and, like, unfinished looking to my mind. I guess that's why I waited out so long to get The Sims 4 because I seen it and I was just like, I am not impressed by that. There is no color wheel. There are no swatches. Like, what the heck? I have to use these basic patterns when I had unlimited creativity before. I think not. Also, loading screens between moving from town to town. Like, not even from downtown. From house to house. You go to your neighbor's house. Loading screen. You could walk around the entire city in The Sims 3 and not see a single dang loading screen. All right? I miss those days. I understand, you know. They 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 reach too far with the capabilities. But I'm pretty sure they can bring back the color wheels. Like, I, I'll deal with the loading screens. That's fine by me. But bring back the color wheels. Please. I I would honestly sell my soul for the color wheels. <laughs> that sounds so horrible to say, but like it was such like it's so useful. It was just so great. Like, see, look look how long I'm struggling to find a chair that I have to change everything in this room's color scheme because I couldn't find a nice chair to go with it. Like, see see what I mean? Like, if I had a color wheel, that wouldn't have been a problem. That would not have been a problem. Uh, yeah, so this was just a plain single bedroom, and then the master bedroom was with the, the red canopy bed. Is it a canopy bed or is it on the post bed? No, it's a canopy bed. The the other one from, I think it's Pet Stuff, is uh, Cats and Dogs, sorry, not Pets, uh, is, the, uh, is the post bed, where it's got those long posts up it. So now I'm going to put lights and everything. And I was going to use these ceiling lights, but I'm like, you know what? The downstairs is really short. Don't want to be using ceiling lights. So I just go around and I'm like, I really like the look of these candles in every room. So I just went with the whole house and I put those candles everywhere. It made this home really feel old. And that's what I wanted it. I wanted it to feel like an old Tudor home. And that's where the name of this house comes from old Tudor home and I did the old cottage tutor well not old but I think it was just the cottage tutor you know uh last week and you know continuing the trend of tutors I'll do a modern build as well this week potentially I don't know I haven't built anything yet it's you know it's early but I have so many plans this weekend that I was just like I'm gonna do this video early instead of waiting for the weekend and and pushing out something for Monday I was doing this the week before uh just I got got a bridal shower got a baby shower and in between those two I got a concert to go to because Iron Maiden is coming and I did see them last year but I'm super excited to see them this year again because 
Hopefully I get there early enough that I can get a dang t-shirt. Oh my gosh, last year I, I got there like half an hour before the show started. And literally all they had was like extra, extra, extra small and ugly t-shirts. And I was really disappointed and very sad. So this year I want to show up like an hour an hour and a half early and get myself a Iron Maiden concert t-shirt. Like you can buy it on the on like Amazon or on their merch site, but it's different when you buy it at the concert. It feels better to buy concert t-shirts at the concert. I don't know. I'm just pretty particular. I'm realizing now I did not put any fire precautionary things in here. Oh, you know what? I might have put the sprinkler system on the outside of the house when I built it. I have no idea. No, I did not. Never mind. I'm a liar. I didn't put it. Um, so if you do download this house off the uh, gallery, uh, make sure you put some sprinklers and or fire alarms. You know, might help you out. Uh, I don't think I put a fireplace in this, even though there is a chimney. Uh, just because I didn't really have any space for it. I had so many windows. I don't know why I put so many windows. It is a Tudor home, which theoretically wouldn't have that many windows. But I just really wanted this place to be lighter than it was even though I don't think the windows help too much and this is the the last of the furnishing or do I do some more after this I think this is the last of it yeah I just do a little outdoor seating area do a little bit more terrain editing painting and that is it for this build uh it's uh it's cute it's tiny it works so if you like this please leave a like down below and uh subscribe if you want to see more and comment if you want to tell me it, it's good, it's bad. I'd love some feedback. Uh, but all in all, thank you so much for watching. The link for this house will be in the description. Um, if you want to get it off the gallery, as well as any other links I decide to throw in there. But have an amazing day.